back to Rebuke All Devils Radio 107.7. And we got this story today coming up out of the grill, right? White supremacist posed as Black Lives Matter supporter to shoot up police station. Can you believe that? Ivan Hunter is a member of the Boogaloo Boys, a white supremacist movement looking to start a new American Civil War. Shout out to Dustin for bringing us this story, man. And yeah, you know, I, I really tripped out when I seen this. I was like, you know, you know, a lot of these dumb white supremacists, man, they so silly and stupid that they feel like they smarter than everybody else just to end up on the headlines like this idiot right here. A Texas man pleaded guilty to a single count of rioting after traveling to Minneapolis from the San Antonio area to create chaos under the shroud of the 2020 protest in the aftermath of George Floyd's murder. Ivan Harrison Hunter, 24, pleaded guilty in federal court on Thursday to a single count of rioting, a charge that carries a maximum term of five years in prison. Hunter admitted to firing 13 rounds from an assault rifle into the Minneapolis 3rd Police Precinct on May 28 last year while rioters looted and set fire to the building following evacuation by police, reported Minneapolis Public Radio. No one was harmed by the gunfire. Now, what I want to know is if he was out on bond, because it wouldn't surprise me, but how you go shoot up a police station and be out on bond? Let's see. And of course, here we have a picture of uh, Ivan Hunter, you know, Stay Puff Marshmallow Head Boy, right here. Yeah, here we go. Let's check it out. U.S. District Judge Michael Davis will schedule a sentencing hearing following a pre sentence investigation. Hunter could serve between 37 and 46 months in federal prison. And you know what? That has to be a slap on the hand for shooting up a police station, 13 rounds, and you only looking at 37 or 46 months in federal prison? Wow, I guess we know what privilege that is. Hunter is connected to the Boogaloo Boys, an extremist, white supremacist movement which ultimately seeks to incite the Boogaloo, uh, the Boogaloo or a second American Civil War. The Southern Poverty Law Center writes that the Boogaloo Boys or Bios or Boys started out as a racist meme that grew into a loose online network of adherents over the last decade. Yeah, so you know, they hide online, you know, and plot to uh, show up in different places and, you know, do things, you know, hiding behind Black Lives Matter. And then when they break up all the windows, or in this case, shoot up the police department, then the Black Lives, Lives Matter protesters, protesters, they get the rap. They get the bad reputation, while in real reality, it's the white supremacists like Mr. Hunter that be doing these things. Not to say that, you know, you don't have, you know, people doing other things, but in this particular case, and sticking on this topic, Mr. Hunter was the one doing this. Hunter was ultimately brought down by his own social media presence. Prosecutors said Hunter came to Minneapolis shortly following Floyd's murder after corresponding on, the, on Facebook with Michael Solomon of Minnesota, who pleaded guilty to a federal terrorism charge, and Benjamin Teeter of Hampstead, North Carolina, who also pleaded guilty to a terrorism charge. Hunter also communicated with Stephen Carrillo, a California man charged with killing a federal officer and a sheriff deputy. Solomon, Teeter, and Carrillo are all connected to the Boogaloo Boys. And you know what? I'm going to have to look into this thing about uh, Stephen Carrillo because this is brand new uh, news to me. Following the, uh, following the shooting... Hunter was allegedly recorded on video high-fiving another person and yelling, Justice for Floyd. 
investigators matched the skull mask he wore in the video to one he wore in the photo on his Facebook page. <laughs> Woo, good job. Several white supremacists acting alone and organized with others incited riots and looting during the Floyd protest. The riots were often designed to create deeper racial tensions and exacerbate problems among otherwise peaceful Black Lives Matter protesters. The FBI opened more than 300 domestic terrorism investigations following the protest and national unrest. And so there you have it, man. You know, another story of what not to be in society. You know, and you know, it reminds me of that Scooby-Doo, man, that old cartoon, you know. You you know, he would have got away with it if it wouldn't have been for those meddling kids. <laughs> wow, man, I'm trying to tell you, that's the face of failure right there. You know what I mean? And guess what, Mr. Hunter, you'll have some time to, you know, think about your actions, man, you know. And hopefully, man, you know, you'll be rehabilitated, you know. Maybe you could take you some courses, man. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, maybe you need to be re-educated. <laughs> and understand, you know what I'm saying? The people who you hate should be the people you should be trying to get along with. You know? And with that being said, man, you know, don't ever, ever be a dumb white supremacist. Because at the end of the day, you'll be the next news story. Drop your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on that notification bell. And I'll catch you on the next episode. Shalom.